everyone, and welcome back to Tokyo Tuesdays, the segment in which I head to the Tokyo Disney theme parks to sample and review every last eatery. For our 41st episode, we're heading to a lovely little spot in Tokyo Disneyland, the gazebo. Located in Adventureland, finding the gazebo is relatively simple. Start by heading into the World Bazaar. Continue straight, all the way through, until you pop out the other side. As you exit into the open sky again, make a sharp left, keeping the refreshment corner on your left. Continue straight. There'll be several islands of lovely green grass ahead of you. You can cut around them however you like, though I tend to veer to the right. So long as you continue to head into Adventureland, you're going in the correct direction. If the Crystal Palace is on your right and Popcorn Cart number two is on your left, then you'll find the gazebo on your right. The gazebo is a counter service eatery located in that nebulous area between Adventureland and the World Bazaar. Sitting in the shadow of the Crystal Palace, this location has more of a proper, maintained, almost Victorian feel to it. More than the wild energy that permeates most of Adventureland. There's only outdoor seating available, but they keep plenty of umbrellas up to shield you from the elements. All right, so today we are at the gazebo. A uh, very simple name uh, for a very simple location. I came here because someone requested that I try more of the seafood at the Tokyo Disney Resort. And the gazebo usually pretty much only serves clam chowder. Uh, now, I don't like clam chowder. It's a combination of two things that I don't like, but I was willing to try it because, hey, why not? Try new things. Um, maybe I would like this one, but when I arrived, uh, they'd rehauled the menu. Uh, I think it's a seasonal thing. Um, we're in the middle of the Tanabata Festival right now, and so uh, there was no clam chowder, but there was shaved ice. Um, I got the Mikan, or the orange shaved ice, but they also had green tea ice. And uh, I like orange flavored things, so I got this one. Um, it's just served in a pretty simple plastic cup. Uh, nothing terribly exciting there. We got a nice little plastic spoon to go with it. Let's try. Very orangey, unsurprisingly. Let's try one of these little orange slices. As you can see, they've got these really adorable little... They look like they're covered in just pure sugar syrup, but we'll find out. Surprisingly difficult to tell with the addition of ice. Um, but they are real oranges. I'm going to touch one. Yep, they're, they're just oranges. And I think the reason why it looks like they're encased and candied is just because the the water that they were sitting in is freezing when in that close when in that close proximity to ice unsurprisingly oh dear i just noticed the clouds it looks like it's going to start raining pretty intensely here soon and i only have my portable umbrella with me today i've been saving uh my b-roll sort of walk around footage until the end of the day but i might i might break and do my b-roll walk around after this because i'm a little worried about those clouds that's that's some pretty intense looking uh, weather coming up it looks like but in the meanwhile let's enjoy orange shaved ice one thing the New Orleans part of Adventureland has going for it, more so than any other area of the park, is an amazing soundtrack. Hard to go wrong with jazz. Please don't rain. So the ice is a little more coarse than you might be expecting if you're used to pretty standard American f snow cones. Um, but besides that, it is pretty as you would expect, I would say. Um, it's ice, it's, you know, flavoring. I think, like on a hot day, this would be manna from heaven. Today, it's pretty much perfect weather uh, if you 
ignore the looming storm clouds. Uh, the temperature is lovely. It's currently not raining. Uh, it's not very sunny, but it's not, you know, dark either. It's, it's really actually very nice. Um, consequently, maybe it's not perfect snow cone weather, but it's still good. Yeah. On a hot day, this would be unbelievably refreshing. Um, for today, it's just merely good. So anyways, I'm going to try and take some B-roll footage before the rain comes in and shuts me out. Uh, I will see you at the next place, hopefully not soaked. We're back inside and safe from the weather. That means it's time to review. Service. Service is a three out of five. I have no complaints for this location, no issues. There was a small line, but they moved it along very quickly. So it's an honest, if not unremarkable, three out of five. Atmosphere. Atmosphere is a two out of five. I wasn't terribly impressed with the gazebo. To be fair, it is a nice eatery, but that's about it. It doesn't mesh with the feeling of Adventureland at all. It feels like it belongs on a nice, well-manicured Victorian lawn, which is like the exact opposite of adventure. Uh, you know, there is the New Orleans part of Adventureland, but that still retains that feeling of wildness and adventure. Uh, whereas the gazebo sort of retains a feeling of cucumber sandwiches and croquet. Which is not a bad thing, but it's pointedly not adventure -y. It's also not unique to the park. So, two out of five. Price point. Price is also a two out of five. This is shaved ice. Orange flavored shaved ice, but just shaved ice in the end. Uh, there's nothing that goes into this that is terribly difficult to do or hard to find ingredients. And for that reason, I feel the markup on it is pretty steep. Much like the popcorn, there's not a lot of work that has to go into it. So when your shaved ice costs 360 yen, it feels a little expensive. So yeah, two out of five. The food itself. The food is a three out of five. Like I said, on a hot day, dollars to donuts, this is gonna be one of the better foods in the park. However, on a not exceptionally hot day, it's fine. It's not bad, but without impending heat stroke or dehydration setting in, it's not gonna wow you. It is a standard food done standardly well. Three out of five. Overall rating. Overall, this gives the gazebo an average rating of 2.5 out of 5, which seems about right. We'll leave it there. With a 2.5 out of 5, this ties the gazebo with Village Pastry, Chuck Wagons, and Popcorn Carts number 3 and 7. I'm going to slot it in at 34th place, just under Popcorn Cart number 7, but above the Chuck Wagon. Uh, I really liked that barbecue flavor. On the other hand, I would rather wait for a, you know, simple snow cone in zero line than an epically long line for, meh, smoked turkey. On the counter service lineup, meanwhile, it's going to slot in at 23rd place. Not terribly high, but then there's not a lot that you can expect out of snow cones. So, that's it for this week. Come back next week if you want to find out where I'll be then. Hint, my search for tasty food was quite fruitful at this next location. If you have any comments or suggestions, please feel free to leave those down below. We'd love to hear from you. Give this video a big ol' thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you like what we do. We'd surely appreciate it. If social media is more your flavor, you can find us there. Links to that in the description box. And I will see you next week for another Tokyo Tuesday.